from inflation to the great resignation, even massive layoffs, there seems to be a lot of anxiety in the workplace right now. So despite all that uncertainty, the percentage of people looking for a new job continues to rise. But if you are struggling with how to navigate the ever-changing labor market, News 4's consumer reporter Susan Hogan has the latest job trends and ways you can prepare for the unexpected. So if you are one of those job seekers, listen up, because the job market, as you know, has changed a lot since the start of the pandemic. And new job trends are making it harder to navigate worthy job searches. Let's start with ghost postings. The idea behind it is our companies or, or maybe even staffing firms uh, who represent companies posting jobs that they never really have an intention to fill. The problem is job seekers are spending hours applying to jobs managers no longer have the budget for or just posted it for appearances. To give the front that things are going great during a recession and they're not being impacted in case they have suitors who are looking to buy the organization that they're not being impacted by this recession. One way to identify ghost postings is to look at the date of when it was posted. But David says it's hard to tell the true reason why a company might be holding on filling a position they posted weeks ago. There could be a number of different reasons that it comes across as a ghost posting. Sometimes companies just continually are looking for that same skill set. It could be because they're always hiring that skill set because of growth. And if the economy has you in a panic and you are worried about your current job, you're not alone. In fact, the term recession is up 900 percent year over year on LinkedIn. So it's certainly top of mind for professionals right now. First, update your professional profiles and resume. Make sure they have the most recent information listed. Keep your network warm. Reach out to other professionals in your industry and start building those relationships now. You don't want to cash in only when you need a favor or recommendation. Make a list of your skills. Many managers are leaning into skills-based hiring now. And the last thing I'd recommend you do is if you're interested in looking for a new role, put your feelers out there for new job opportunities. And it's not all bad news. There are some industries that seem to be growing. If you are considering a career change, healthcare, government administration, customer service and education have been seeing hiring gains. So that is certainly something to think about. I'm Susan Hogan, News 4.